Welcome to AccuWeb Hosting Video Tutorial. Today we will guide you on how to increase MSSQL Remote Query Timeout Limit. In this video tutorial, we will see how to log in into your MSSQL server through SQL Server Management Studio. Second one is how to increase MSSQL Remote Query Timeout Limit. Before we begin the tutorial have a quick look at our contact details for your hosting requirements. You can visit our website at www.accuwebhosting.com. You can raise a chat from the chat option available on our website. You can also contact us on this number. You can send us an email at sales at accuwebhosting.com. Thanks you. Let's begin the tutorial. First we will see how to log in into your MSSQL server through SQL Server Management Studio. For that, you have to log in into your Windows Server with Administrator User. Here we have used Windows Server 2012 as a demo. Click on the Windows button located on the status bar. After then click on the search option. Type SQL Server Management Studio in the search field. Once you type in it, you will see SQL Server Management Studio option. Please be informed that here we have used SQL Server Management Studio 17 as an example. Click on it to open SQL Server Management Studio. It may take a few minutes to open it. In the Server Type field, select Database Engine from the drop-down list. In the Server Name field, enter the IP address of your MSSQL server, coma port number. In the Authentication field, select SQL Server Authentication from the drop-down list. In the Login field, type SA. In the Password field, enter the password of the SA user. You can collect the password of the SA user from your client area. Click on the connect button to log in in your SQL Server database. Congratulations! You are logged into your MSSQL Server database. Let's see how to increase the MSSQL remote query timeout. In the Object Explorer section, right-click on the server name and click on the Properties option. Once you click on it, Server Properties window will be open. Click on the Connections option. Go to the Remote Server Connection section and make sure that Allow Remote Connections to this server box is checked. In the Remote Query Timeout field, Enter your desired value or specify 0 to set no limit. Here we have enter 900 as an example. Click on the OK button to save the changes. That's it. Let's quickly sum up the context of this video. We seen how to log in into your MSSQL server through Management Studio. Second one is how to increase MSSQL remote query timeout limit. Hope. This video will be helpful for you. If you like this video, please click on the thumb button. Please click on subscribe button if you want to view such easy to understand technical videos published by AccuWebHosting.com. Thank you for watching.